of the College of Arts and Sciences at Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, and I'm the bookstore of Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, in this event about books and things that have been forbidden. Uh, and I chose Howard Sin's A People's History of the United States, which was classified as leftist and un-American. So uh, I purposely look for something that could look like that. I'm not sure if you will agree with the critics, so here you go. So 350,000 workers in 11,562 establishments all over the country went out on a strike. In Detroit, 11,000 workers marched in an eight-hour parade in New York, 25,000 formed a torchlight procession along Broadway, headed by 3,400 members of the Bakers Union. In Chicago, 40,000 struck, and 45,000 were granted a shorter working day to prevent them from striking. Every railroad in Chicago stopped running, and most of the industries in Chicago were paralyzed. The stockyards were closed down. A, quote, citizens committee, unquote, of businessmen met daily to map a strategy in Chicago. The state militia had been called out, the police were ready, and the Chicago Mail on May 1st asked that Albert Parsons, on August spies, the anarchist leaders of the International Working People's Association, be watched. Keep them in view. Hold them personally responsible for any trouble that occurs. Make an example of them if trouble occurs. This is why May 1st is Labor Day everywhere in the world except in the United States.